What's good, y'all? It's your boy Rita Tarif. Appreciate y'all tapping back in with me, tuning back into the channel. All of my videos on my channel, but I got about like 50 plus videos. Most of y'all that are subscribed to me, y'all know my biggest thing is transparency. If I'm talking about it, I want to show y'all that I'm doing it. You know, I don't want to just be talking about something and not showing y'all because what does that do for you? How do you even believe that I'm doing the stuff I'm talking about? Not saying like you have to be doing it in that moment every time for somebody to believe you, but you know, off bat, I wanted to get a good reputation of the stuff I was talking about in my videos. Y'all have seen it too. So the stuff I was speaking out of my mouth that went into your eyes, into your ears, you know, you saw it in real life. I'm starting to get a lot of questions, a lot of topics people want me to talk about. And a lot of times I can't really take the camera with me everywhere I go. You know, I'm talking about real deals, real money, people's real life situations, people's private information. Sometimes I can't always have a camera out and you know, get that on camera and put it on YouTube to the whole world can see. So, you know, I try to sit down now, create it like a little home studio, whatever. And let's talk about some of these topics that you have for me. These questions that I get all the time. Something that I can simply just easily sit right here, talk about it, give me my advice, whether you like it or not, and then boom. However you use it from there is however you use it. So I got one word one word that will help you instantly save for your first investment property put this word in your brain and in your heart and you will instantly see a big improvement of your savings towards your first investment property because the first one is just always so freaking hard to get you know for an investor that got it out the mud you know some people wake up and their parents just give them a property or some people wake up and their parents just buy them a property or not even parents just some people you know get lucky and just end up acquiring real estate in the easy ways that you can acquire real estate but that's not realistic that's not for you uh hopefully hypothetically that's not the case that you're in as well so you know i'm giving words to a person that's going to do it but on their own and do it there by themselves so let's talk about that one word that can help you save for your first investment property so i'm here to tell you right now you're not getting real estate for free if you have it sent down from a parent or a relative of yours, you know, they give you a piece of property, you know, that's one way to get it free. Or if somebody ends up buying you a piece of property for free, then cool. We're, you're not even relatable to this video. So all these stuff you hear about, I heard I only have to put down a thousand dollars or I heard I don't have to put no money down or I heard I can get property without having to spend any of my money. Dude, that's not freaking realistic. That, like, that's not realistic at all. I hate when people like think they're just going to get real estate for free. The real estate industry is a money driven industry. No if, ands, or buts about it. Real estate is freaking money. When you hear real estate is money. Don't think nothing else. Like don't think free, don't think discount. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the one word that you can do to help you save for real estate because now you know that you're not getting it for free. You know you're not like not putting zero dollars down or putting none of your money up to buy some property. Let's talk about what you can do to save the money to buy the first property. The one word that will help you save literally a lot of money for your first investment property is no. No. N O. No. It worked for me. It took me a long time to process it. It took me a long time to understand how the word no will help me achieve my first investment property. Because no is gonna work for you in different perspectives and different outlines, the way you put it into your brain, into your heart. When it's time to use the word no to help you get to that goal in your first investment property. So how do we put the word no in perspective? When it's time to save money, you don't need to be spending money. When you make a decision, do you have a want? You have something you want but don't need? No, the answer is no. If I want a new four-wheeler, but I don't need it, no. My friends want to go on a girl's trip or a guy's trip, I'm saving for investment property. This girl's or guy's trip is going to cost me about eight to ten grand or five grand, depending on where we go, Las Vegas, California, Miami. Hmm. No. No, I'm not going. You're going to have... Saving money is not possible if you keep spending, 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 spending money. Now, how much you make is going to depend on how much you can save, so in order to make more money so you can save more money, get another stream of income, have multiple streams of income. How does no come into that? Do I have multiple streams of income? No, no I don't. See how no just told you you don't have streams of income, multiple streams of income, get multiple streams of income. Well yeah, no just helps you put it in your mind. Now I have to go get multiple streams of income so I can save more money. Just like how no helped me not go on that guy's a girl's trip or buy that new four wheeler or buy this expensive makeup uh, whatever girls be buying, this expensive makeup set that costs about two or three grand, it just helped me not take that out of my savings and help me get faster to my goal. The word no is being put into many perspectives. Do you follow how the word no 
It's helping you get there faster. And I'm not saying it's gonna be like this forever. You know, it's just getting to that first one. The first one is so freaking hard. Now I'm talking about the first one by yourself. It's plenty of times where I've started off in real estate, I couldn't do it by myself. Like I needed investors, I needed help. You know, people like my father, they had to loan me money and I had to give it back to them. You know, once I finished my plans and everything worked out. Uh, it's been times where, you know, it really didn't work out. I just broke even. I really didn't make any money because the first one you get is more than likely going to you, set you up for life. It's going to set you up to just keep repeating the process over and over. Wash and rinse, wash and rinse. I got this first flip. I saved all this money for it. You know, it worked out. My income doubled, tripled or whatever. Now, all of a sudden, I have money to do it all over again. Then I have money to... Do what I want to do. Have some fun. Pay myself back for it. It gets to a point where when you really lock in and you like start seeing like the improvement, like just the bigger and bigger and bigger success. It's like going to the gym. You start working out, you're getting bigger, you see the abs. Or if you're working out and you just start losing a lot of weight, like it's shredding like crazy, you get addicted to that shit. Like you get addicted to it like so fast. So trust me, once you get over the hump of like, it shows you like, all right, this shit is working. What I'm doing is working and it's working fast. You'll start saying no and you'll get there faster than you, you've expected. So like I said, guys and girls, no is the word that helped me. It helped me get to a point where I am at today and I'm still not where I'm at today, but it get me to a point where I can do a lot of stuff like that I didn't see myself doing years ago or couldn't see myself doing years ago and at the end of the day repay yourself when it's time to you know even when you're achieving that goal that number you know it's times where you gotta just exhale and do what you gotta do you know whatever it is if you go on a trip if you buy yourself something nice you know or even if you end up doing a good deed for somebody else you know just do it you know how to balance it and it will help you balance itself out by using the word no faster and sooner and you will get to that point in time where you finally get your first investment property like i'm not here to tell you i'm not here to come on here and tell you like it's some math equation to help you get your first investment product because that's not the way i've learned it's not the way i've taught and realistically speaking being a real estate agent and real estate investor it's just money talks whoever has the big, biggest pockets in real estate is most likely going to get whatever they're trying to get i learned how to say no start saying no like comment subscribe please subscribe like half of my viewers are not freaking subscribed to me i don't understand that like if you're not subscribed to me how does the video keep popping up like the youtube algorithm is so crazy like crazy but if you really rocking with me please subscribe um hopefully my advice works for you it worked for me and just save and say no save and say no rinse and repeat rinse and repeat Say no to things that you don't need in that moment and you will be faster to your investment property sooner than soon. But I'm out. Catch y'all next video.